Access to medicine is one of the conditions for a healthy society. Yet, somewhere along the production and consumption chain, most medication ends up in our oceans. The threat posed by pharmaceutical residue in the ocean remains unclear. To assess the risk, we need large-scale interdisciplinary research combining biochemistry, ecotoxicology and oceanography. Thanks to the Pharmarine project, which was funded by Norway Grants, teams of Polish and Norwegian scientists had the opportunity to join forces and study risks and transfer of pharmaceutical residues in the Arctic. Nowadays, empirical data on pharmaceutical concentrations in the oceans are very scarce. In the Pharmarine project, we collected on board the research vessel Oceania a number of marine samples and started measurements on drug concentrations in water, zooplankton and benthic animals like shrimps, bivalves, sea stars to assess the contamination status of the Arctic ecosystem. I am a marine biologist working in the Institute of Oceanology in Sopot. Together with my colleagues, we are collecting samples of marine fauna and flora in the Arctic for our chemist colleagues in Norway and Poland. Using the most advanced lab equipment and technologies, they examine the samples to assess information on pharmaceuticals in the Arctic ecosystem. We're only now learning about the risks that pharmaceutical residues extend on the marine ecosystems. That's why we need decision makers to act now, to protect future generations and wildlife. Initial data obtained through the Farmarine project indicates a need for comprehensive regulations on pharmaceuticals in our oceans. Thanks to the Norway grants, Frontier Research is encouraging stronger environmental protection policies in Europe and the world.